Hello, this will be just a quick update on my HMS Astute build. As you can see, we have the upper hull here, the polycarbonate tube here, but we will not use these two because uh, I want to have a good access to the um, uh, cylinder which is uh, already in the lower part of the hull. And I want to show you um, a few tweaks uh, of the Mark III cylinder because this is the Mark III cylinder. So it's an improved version of the current one which I'm using, uh, which is the Mark II. So, of course, it has all the great things from the um, Mark II, which are the magnetic connectors, uh, the magnetic clutch uh, for the shaft, the integrated unit, uh, which uh, incorporates both the electronic speed controller and the uh, pump driver. Uh, but now, additionally, uh, you can um, have an optional uh, um, magnetic switch. So. Uh, you can basically turn on and turn off the model by simply removing the magnet on the polycarbonate tube. So we have a piece of mm, tube here to simulate our tube. And uh, I will move the sticks now and you can see that the model is turned off. But as soon as I will remove the magnet, the model becomes operational. And as soon as you place the magnet again, the model will be turned off. A nice thing to have. All right, so the next thing is um, an optional built-in pitch controller. So this works like this, uh, that it compensates if the model, for example, dives. So let's move the um, stern up and the pitch controller automatically compensates that and the same goes if uh, the model tries to surface uh, by itself. So I will raise the bow and the model compensates again. Uh, so that's a nice thing. Uh, the third difference is that uh, I had to um, switch the servos uh, finally for, for, because of the speech controller. Uh, I was already using very good ones, uh, high quality Corona servos with metal bearings and excellent electronics. I highly recommend those. Uh, but uh, I had to switch to the digital ones, uh, which are more expensive, but they are better and they are the improved version of the analog ones. All right, so let's go to the um, next um, um, thing which is worth mentioning. Uh, which is the um, kill switch for the um, bladder. As you can see, we have the ballast tank here, which is a bladder. When you want to dive the model, you fill it up with water. And if you forget to turn off the pump, there is a little kill switch here, which will turn off the pump when the bladder is full. Uh, so um, it will not overfill. Uh, and there is one uh, thing which is worth mentioning, that it only turns off the pump uh, in one direction. I will show you this, but first I will need to put the camera on the tripod. All right. All right. So I will turn on the pump into the diving mode with this little switch. Uh, it's now in neutral. So let's move it down as dive and the pump is turned on. So let's press the switch and simulate that the tank is full and the pump is stopped. So now um, you want to uh, empty the tank and surface the model, right? So you simply put it to neutral and move the switch up. And as you can see, the pump is operational even with the switch, uh, with the kill switch uh, pressed, it, but it's only operation into the surface mode. As soon as the bladder will release some pressure and the kill switch will be uh, released too, uh, you can dive the model again. Right? So that's it. Those are the major difference between, uh, differences between the Mark III and the Mark II. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.